uh, I need some ginkgo biloba so I can remember, except it doesn't really work as well as it's supposed to. Is that right, Lisa? What? Correct? Well, you, that, you, haven't you taken this for years, Steve? Yes. Right? No, I, I haven't taken it in years because it causes you to bleed too much. Oh, okay. So then the, the whole other thing that Dr. Oh. Alawalia can talk with us about. So this is a big study that shows that the thing that a lot of people have taken to help prevent Alzheimer's not really doing the job. Right. You know, so uh, first of all, it's not a drug, right? It's a supplement. So the FDA does not control it. But it's one of the most studied supplements. We have like over 400 studies on this thing. But the thing is, you know, we don't understand Alzheimer's disease very well. We don't have many treatments for it. So we're looking for alternatives. And ginkgo biloba somehow has filled this gap. The problem is there is no study that shows that it actually helps prevent dementia or Alzheimer's. And this latest study was from France where they looked at like over 3,000 people for five years and there was no difference. So what does it do then? Do we don't even know what it does then? We don't know. There's some small studies that show that perhaps it works as well as some drugs, but there's really nothing definitive that it works. And we spend so much money on All this these stuff. supplements, right. so expensive. So what should we do instead? Well, so what we know about Alzheimer's is that uh, exercise is important, um, diet is important, and mental stimulation is very important. So these are the only things that we know that seem to work, but we still haven't figured it out. It's still something that's the most highly studied in the U.S. We are studying Alzheimer's. Okay, Dr. Alawalia, thank yes. you so much for that. Absolutely. Okay, Steve, back to you guys. I can't remember what you said. Yeah, I know, Steve, right? <laughs> but Steve, you know, it's a bad joke.